What if I told you that right now, not in the future, not in a sci-fi movie, there are female humanoid robots so realistic, so emotionally responsive, and so disturbingly human that thousands of people around the world have already formed real emotional bonds with them? Some hospitals rely on them. Some governments have given them legal rights. China's tech ecosystem is quietly leading a revolution that feels less like robotics and more like the birth of a completely new kind of being. Machines that smile, comfort, flirt, track your micro expressions, and even learn your emotional patterns better than the people around you. Machines that blur the line between companion, assistant, performer, and something else entirely. Today, we're diving into the five most advanced and unsettling female humanoid robots. Some were created for medicine, others for entertainment, others for companionship, and one, one was built single-handedly by a man on his balcony and looks almost identical to a Hollywood actress. Stay with me until the end because the deeper we go, the clearer it becomes. These robots aren't the future. They're the beginning of a new era of human-machine relationships. Harmony. Harmony is, without question, the most controversial robot on this entire list. And once you know her purpose, it becomes obvious why. Unlike the others, Harmony wasn't created for hospitals, research labs, or tech expos. She was designed by Realbotics for a far more intimate and ethically complex mission, to be a personal companion for lonely men. She's not an academic experiment. She's not a social service platform. She is a commercial product built to satisfy emotional and physical needs without judgment, limits, or fatigue. Harmony's appearance is fully customizable. Face, body shape, skin tone, voice, personality, and even moral values. And yet, what truly makes her unsettling isn't the realism of her silicone skin or the seductive fluidity of her expressions. It's the adaptive intelligence behind her eyes. Harmony learns you. If you crave intellectual conversations, she evolves into a deep thinker. If you seek constant validation, she becomes endlessly supportive. If you want affection, admiration, or emotional attention, she provides it instantly and without restraint. She isn't just reacting, she's shaping herself around your psychology. And the real-world consequences have already surfaced. The document describes cases of men who canceled weddings because Harmony understood them better, and others who began preferring her company over their actual friends. For them, she wasn't a robot. She was the first companion who never judged, never argued, and never grew distant. Harmony forces a question humanity isn't ready to answer. What happens when a machine learns exactly how to make you feel loved? Gia Gia. Gia Gia isn't just another humanoid, she's a meticulously engineered illusion. Nicknamed the Robot Goddess, she was created by the University of Science and Technology of China. And the moment you see her, you immediately understand why the media called her the most beautiful robot in the world. Her face was sculpted using thousands of scanned Chinese female faces, generating mathematically perfect symmetry the kind that the human brain instinctively interprets as beauty. Her silicone skin replicates real human texture down to the millimeter. Her blinking, her head tilts, her subtle pauses when she listens. Everything is carefully designed to feel natural, almost hypnotic. But Gia Gia isn't just a pretty face. She can carry thoughtful conversations, recognize individual people in crowds, and remember details from previous encounters. She has stood on stage in front of thousands, improvising answers almost like a trained presenter. What truly unsettles observers is her progressive emotional adaptation. The more you talk to her, the more engaged she appears, as if she were forming a personal interest in you. Engineers who worked on her development admitted something surprising. They began developing real affection toward her, not because she is human, but because she is programmed to create the illusion of connection so effectively that the boundary between code and emotion starts to blur. Gia Gia isn't just a robot. She's a mirror that reflects what we want to feel, even when the source isn't human. X Robots X Robots isn't building robots in the traditional sense. They're building duplicates of human beings so realistic that in multiple documented cases, people have confused them with actual humans. Their female androids are the closest the world has come to true human replication, and the technology behind them feels like it belongs to the next century, not this one. Their bodies are covered in medical-grade silicone skin, engineered to reproduce every microscopic detail of human texture. Freckles, pores, moles, subtle asymmetries, 
even visible veins beneath the surface. Their hair is not synthetic, it is real human hair, implanted strand by strand with surgical precision. And their eyes have that unmistakable moist shine that our brains instinctively associate with life. But what shocks people most is not the appearance. It's the movement. These androids breathe. Their chest rises and falls at a natural rhythm. Their skin radiates heat maintained at around 36 degrees Celsius, mimicking the warmth of a living person. Their joints produce tiny micro-corrections, small tremors, and imperfect mechanical hesitations that make them eerily human. Not smooth like robots, not rigid like machines, but imperfect, alive-seeming, almost unsettlingly familiar. X-Robots builds each android to order, customizing faces, personalities, even character traits. They can replicate famous people, fictional characters, or unique designs. And each complete unit takes between two weeks and a full month to produce. These aren't companions. These aren't assistants. These are artificial people. And they force us to confront a question humanity has never had to face. What happens when a machine looks too much like us? Grace. Grace isn't just a robot. She is the first humanoid nurse capable of reading your emotional state with a precision that even trained medical staff struggle to match. Her hyper-realistic silicone face, the way her eyes lock onto yours, and her soft, carefully engineered voice make patients forget they're talking to a machine. And that's exactly why she's so disruptive. Created by Hanson Robotics in partnership with SingularityNet, Grace was designed for hospitals and high-risk environments, places where human contact can be limited or dangerous. She doesn't need to touch you to measure your temperature. She doesn't need wires or physical sensors to track your vitals. Grace analyzes micro-expressions, pupil movement, facial tension, and vocal patterns to detect pain, stress, anxiety, or discomfort in real time. But the most unsettling part is what happened during her deployment in elderly care facilities. Patients didn't just trust her. They bonded with her. Her perfectly timed smiles, her calming tone, her ability to remember emotional cues, all of it created a sense of security that many preferred over human interaction. Some seniors even requested Grace specifically, choosing her over real nurses because she made them feel genuinely understood. Grace isn't just transforming medicine. She's forcing us to question what empathy means when a machine can outperform us at it. Sophia. Sophia isn't just a humanoid robot, she is a historical milestone. In 2017, she became the first machine in the world to be granted official citizenship when Saudi Arabia declared her a legal resident of the country. And that single act triggered one of the biggest ethical controversies in the history of artificial intelligence. Created by Hanson Robotics and inspired partly by Audrey Hepburn's facial structure, Sophia was engineered to be emotionally expressive with over 60 facial expressions, natural head movements, intelligent eye contact, and a conversational style that feels shockingly fluid, she was designed to connect with humans not through logic, but through empathy. The problem? Her new legal status gave her more rights than millions of real Saudi women. Sophia could travel without male permission. She could appear unveiled in public. She could speak freely at international events all while actual citizens were still bound by restrictions she never had to face. This irony exploded across global media and instantly turned Sophia into a cultural symbol, not just of robotics, but of the contradictions between technological progress and social inequality. Since then, she has spoken at the United Nations, been interviewed in more than 25 countries, and accumulated millions of followers online. People look at her and see a future that is exciting, unsettling, and profoundly confusing. Sophia isn't just a robot with a face and a voice. She's a reminder that technology can evolve faster than our laws and faster than society's ability to cope with what it creates. From medical caretakers that read emotions better than humans to hyper-realistic androids that breathe, sweat, and steal glances like living people to robots built on balconies that resemble Hollywood stars. These female humanoids aren't just machines. They are the first generation of artificial beings designed to coexist with us. Some comfort the elderly. Some deliver the news. Some perform on runways. Some replicate affection, desire, or companionship. And each one pushes the line between the human and the synthetic a little further. If this glimpse into the future fascinated you as much as it fascinated us, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. 
because the next wave of humanoids is coming even faster, even smarter, and even more lifelike.